www.newtoboss.com. My name is Ty, and again, this is part of the video tutorial series that I'm creating for the ZTE ZX V10 W300 series. And we've got a question way back um, when we still have our domain attached or connected to an older channel. Uh, we got user right here. It says, "Paano po malaman kung anong username at password ng modem ko?" Well, if you're actually referring to uh, a ZTE ZX V10 W300 series modem, the username actually is um, fixed to being uh, having a value as admin, right? So to check on that, let me show that to you. Try to access your router 192.168.1.1. Uh, if you don't know how to access your router yet, if you can't pull up any page using 1.1, you can check out some of the tutorials that we have so you can get to root that out and check for the correct IP address or the correct gateway so you can open your modem. So it would ask you to log in, it would give you uh, either username and password, type that in there. So to check and verify that the username actually is always admin to this, you go to maintenance right here. I'm not saying that you're logged in. I'm just actually showing to you this part because I just would want to mention that username is always fixed to admin on this certain router. If that was provided to you by BuyIntel or BuyIntDSL, ZX V10W300 series, username is admin, then you got password. You can add type in password. But if you're asking a question how to know the username and password probably you really can't log in so again it's fixed to admin so what you do is to actually look up for if you take a look at the back of your modem there's this protruding black button in there you could just press it's a reset button so what you do you plug that in run your modem powered up and while it's powered up press on that hold that for like about 20 to 30 seconds 10 seconds would be okay but to flush everything out just for a complete reset um, just connect your power cable directly to that modem detach all LAN connectors or LAN cables and press on that black button straight for 30 seconds you will notice that there would be changes on the light that will be blinking and others and it's going to reset back. After 30 seconds, release it and let it boot back up. After it boots back up, you turn that off again and turn on back the modem. And try to access this page again, 192.168.1.1. I mean, of course, connect first through a LAN connector, RJ45, straight to your LAN. But if you can't, CDIP, you have to do this. Windows R on your keyboard, type in CMD, then try to type in IP, CONFIG, IP config. This will verify as to if you're connected or not connected. If it would say media state, uh, media disconnected, and you don't see any IPv4 subnet and gateway, you might as well restart your computer together with the mode. If it still doesn't work, um, try to reset again. If still doesn't work, try to use a different computer to do that. Also, um, you should have a gateway that says 192.168.1.1. If this will change, let's think of that that it would be 192.168.0.1, then that means you can't access this page using that gateway, but you have to change this 0.1. Okay, so again, whatever you see on the default gateway after you reset your rotor, this is the one that you have to type in here so you can get to gain access. All right, so if you type that in there, let me just log out a little bit so you can let's go back to device info right here. Uh, sorry, let me just close that and two one six eight dot one dot one. I'm still logged in. Let me close everything now. Okay, with a 168.1.1, and it's going to ask you to type in a username and a password. If you're with Bind uh, DSL, 
the default password is B A Y A N D S L by and DSL. But I'm assuming if you completely reset the modem, you just have to type in admin, then as default to most routers, um, and with D links, username for default is admin, password is just blank. Again, default if you may have reset, try this. Admin for the pass I'm mean, username, password, just don't type anything, just click on OK. And it should log you in. If it doesn't work, if you're using um, maybe a program buying DSL router, try buying DSL as the password. If you're in, from a different country, I believe so, the admin and blank password would work. A, uh, ADMIN, if you may have created a password already, then you could type that in there. Sometimes the password 1234 also would work. But with this uh, modem series, admin blank password, when I reset that, it would work. Okay, so basically that's all about it with some other um, tutorial videos regarding this modem and some other modems. You can check out our uh, YouTube channel, youtube.com slash nudeworks, and do visit our website, www.nudeboss.com. Thanks for watching.